The following program contains scenes that may be upsetting for some viewers. There was a moment during the Alameda Gardens investigation where everything started going wrong. Uh, all the equipment started to malfunction, K2 meters lost their, their batteries, and, and remember that these were new batteries that had just been put in place that night. It's definitely malfunctioning. <coughs> just as you rested it on here. Are you affecting the energy here? Are you affecting the equipment? So it's just killed the battery. The battery is dead. What? What about time that affects you? What is it you want to tell us about time? I had a little camera uh, where I was recording and it had a little sort of um, focal light on top and the moment I set it down on this particular tomb where we were carrying out an investigation, the light went off. And then I lifted the camera, the light went back on. I put it down on the tomb, the light went off. We did this several times, on, off, on, off. The moment it touched the, the tomb, all the electricity from the light just cut out. What happened with the drugs? Oh. The drug team. You were drugs. Have you been some more of your energy in? Will you? Come on! Show me the ray! Show me the ray! Show me the ray! <laughs> in order to debunk this, I mean, I set it down on several other locations. No, there was nothing that affected the light. I mean, it wasn't just an, it wasn't a, a, an electricity circuit malfunction or anything like that. It was just literally setting it down on this particular tomb that seemed to cut out the light. Just documenting that Jonathan is not doing this. Me. Hang on, let me get through. Yeah, there's documenting. That's what you're telling me to. I mean, I'm not touching anything. I'm, telling, I'm literally. I'm, not, I'm like, telling them about. The camera's on its own right now. I'm not touching it. The light is flashing on and off. Where is the respect? Randomly. On its own. Where is the respect? Move. There is no respect. I'm talking. You're not listening. In. Right, I'm going to pick it up now to see whether that makes a difference. It's not flashing anymore. And to this day, I have no explanation for it. I'm, I even had the camera examined by technicians and electricians here at GBC a few days, for a few days afterwards, and they found nothing wrong with it. Well, I know you do. John, leave something. Leave yeah. them leave. alone. Please help. Yeah, please help. John, leave them alone. They're coming with me if they want to. I'll speak to you. We will speak to you. There's peace again, isn't it? You will get the peace that you need. John, tell me more about the bleeding. 
and the alcohol. I had a camera on me and I almost accepted that all I would do was, was film and just experience. And, and at times, I felt myself almost succumbing to emotions, you know. I would I'd feel happy or sad or, and, and it would make no sense. You know, if, if you're holding a camera in a dark place, um, very focused on what you're doing, why would you suddenly feel sad or why would you suddenly feel happy? It didn't really make a lot of sense. And it still doesn't. I, I have no explanation for those feelings. John, I'll let you in my throat chakra and let you speak. I'm just going to project the energy into the box, okay? John, speak through the box through me, please. John, are you angry with us here? Hi. <sighs> Hi there, John. Yep. I, I followed around an awful lot and, and watched Sam um, speak to speak in the voice of these of these spirits and, and have them tell a story and, and but it was just floating over Brian's head a red light I saw it with my own eyes as well. Child the stomach. Bridget show me something happened in her stomach before she passed. Can you tell us what happened? She wants peace. Do all around her. She wants peace. That's what she's showing me. She wants peace. All these men around, not us, all the souls that are here. She wants peace. Maybe they were trying to love her. Careful. Careful. Did you hear that? Bridget. What was interesting about this location as well was that there seemed to be, for me, a lot of physical activity, there was spirit who were wanting me to display their emotions, their, their thoughts and their feelings and there was a lot of anger, there was a lot of anger in that location that we could all um, feel. Themes of murder, we didn't quite get to the bottom of that but there were certainly themes of murder um, and a lot of mistrust and lies. I'm not sure what I would have expected from someone like Alameda Gardens. You know, I, I, the, the history of the place to me is a bit nebulous. I, I didn't really go into it with a lot of, a lot of experience, a, a lot of um, background knowledge on the place. So I just left myself open to it. And I, I, I enjoyed it because I got to listen and I got to just be quiet and, and feel for a while. And, um, you know, if, you've ever gone out looking for a ghost before, the best way to do it is to be quiet and listen. You can. Is it, is it harder for you? Show me it's harder for him to try and come in. In each location, each soul has a story to tell and each location gives us something very, very special and unique. And what's interesting, every location is unique. Whatever we get is unexpected. We don't expect anything but the unexpected.